Hello guys! Uh, this is an intro with this face that I did not think that I would be doing, but uh, I'm doing a little face mask, don't mind this. Uh, it is Friday and tomorrow I have a few hours where I'm gonna do a DIY. And I figured Johannes is sleeping, Eric is working, we're gonna leave in an hour. If I get it started now, I will definitely do this DIY. Uh, no, but seriously, I've been trying to do it for like five weeks, six weeks. I really want to do it. I want to show you something. I bought this um, thing called like the Lutter Low system. It's based on like two measurements, like your hips and your chest area, and then you can draw uh, patterns from it. So I'm gonna try that. I also have this like super gorgeous uh, flowery uh, uh, fabric. It is a, I think it's a viscose, but let's see. Yes, it's a woven uh, crepe viscose, uh, and I'm gonna use that one. Uh, and then obviously my trusted machine. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a wrap skirt, uh, and then I'm gonna see if I, it, maybe I'll do it in this video, maybe not, but I'm gonna see if I can draft like the perfect fit uh, for a top. Um, and I'm gonna do one that's like a little bit inspired of the milkmaid dress. If you haven't watched that video, make sure to watch it. It's a really fun one. Um, yeah, the next time you see me, I will not have a big uh, black blob on my nose, but uh, <laughs> let's uh, forward to uh, tomorrow uh, when I am making my pattern. Hello guys, uh, it is not the next day, it's a few weeks later, but I now finally have time to make the skirt. Um, I have the gorgeous fabric right there behind me um, and then I have, let me show you uh, all the stuff I mentioned right before the intro uh, I don't really know how much I talked about it but I'm quite excited to try these scissors it's those kind of scissors that cut um, that cut like a, with a with a zigzag or something <laughs> I'll put in the right name for it um, below but uh, I'm really excited to try these because I don't know if there are any others like me out there, but I hate <coughs> overlocking. It is just so annoying. It feels like it's uh, taking away from like real sew time. You know what I mean? And these are supposed to prevent like uh, threading. So uh, for the project today, I'm going to use these and then I hope that the result uh, will be really good that I don't have to uh, zigzag anything. Note, I just want to say I highly recommend uh, this one. It is, uh, yeah, I don't know, that's the serial number and that's like the brand I guess, but um, I've been using uh, the scissor like all throughout the project so far and it's so good. Like uh, it cuts very nice and the um, fabric doesn't fray wherever you cut it so if you're like me and you hate overlocking or hate zigzagging then uh, this one is a definite recommend um i also talked about trying out the letter low system and i actually have a lot of fabric uh i think i have like three or four meters of fabric um so what i think we're gonna do wait let me just straighten you guys out of it there. What I think we're gonna do is that for the skirt itself, I'm gonna copy, uh, copy a pattern of a skirt that I already have that fits me perfectly and I really love the design. I've actually thought about, you know, could I find it again in other colors? Uh, I'm gonna copy one and then uh, if we have time, we're gonna make a top. Uh, if we have time, which I really hope we do. If, uh, if I'm gonna do that, I was figuring like either maybe some milkmaid style type top or um, a t-shirt top, but let's see. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna cut out the pieces for the skirt and um, I'm gonna show you like, yeah, in the video how I copy. So just pay attention to how I fold the skirt and how I put it on the fabric, how I cut and so on. Let's do it! Okay, so this is the skirt. Um, and when you put it on, you put it on like this. The pattern is obviously very different than the one on the floor. It's a bit more bold. But, um, but what we're going to make is this like wrap 
skirt so we're gonna make the whole the whole section right here and then we're gonna make also a ruffle piece to it um, I can see that you know this uh, skirt is made up of several parts but I think I have enough you can see that the they're like uh, sewing here and here um, but I think I have enough to make like the whole piece just one and then I'm gonna add a little extra to make uh, to make some darts. They're very very small. I think I'll only have to add like a centimeter or so um, Yeah, not very big at all, but we're gonna add those and then we also have to cut for the longer uh, tie section the one that's going to be ruffled to give that like flowy effect um, I can see that when this skirt was made just like the top part was made in three pieces and I decided to cut it in one um, the ruffle part is made in four pieces and I'm gonna cut that down to three um, what we're looking at like here in the middle is actually the two center pieces and those are the ones that I'm just gonna make into one um, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to measure this bottom part here. I'm going to measure how long that is and then I'm just going to um, cut a rectangle that's that long <laughs> plus seam allowance because the top part will be, uh, will be ruffled with ruffle stitches. Cutting, uh, oh my god, that is a wasp. <gasps> I hate wasps. It's dead now. Okay, um, I'm done cutting the pieces. I just wanted to show you how they all look when they're laid out. And then I'm gonna take you through quickly uh, what I'm going to do. Um, so, you have the centerpiece here, like uh, the skirt part. Um, I already sewn, I've already sewn the darts. Visible on the other side. I've already sewn the darts in um, and then I've already also uh, pressed all of the pieces um, so this is the middle section that's gonna be ruffled and sewn right here this is the uh, side section that's also going to be like ruffled right here and sewn to this part same thing goes for this one over here I showed you earlier with the plate uh, I just decided to cut this one a bit rounded because I could see that also what was going on on the dress or the skirt that we are copying and then you have the two uh, pieces over here that are like the waistband and the the things we're going to use to like tie the bow right to tie the skirt because it's a wrap skirt um, I've also pressed down the hem on uh, on all of the pieces so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to start by uh, turning this over so it has a nice hem I'm going to hem uh, all of these uh, three pieces once I have done that I'm gonna do a ruffle stitch on each of them and ruffle them up so they fit uh, so they fit around 
the skirt part and once that is done we're gonna go ahead and do the waistband mm. figured that this would be a good time to uh, let you in on what's going on. Um, when it comes to ruffle stitches, sometimes it can be difficult to know like how much do I ruffle them, uh, how much do I not ruffle them, but um, what works well for me is to just ruffle them as much as I can and then once I'm, because it's easier to undo the ruffle, like to just smooth it out than it is to actually do it, so I just ruffle them as much as I can or like more than I think is needed and then once I've done that step I lay it out and I just smooth out the ruffles to fit um, to fit the length that I need it to be so what I've done here is that I have like my skirt section in the middle right and then I've ruffled the pieces and now I'm gonna smooth that one out I'm gonna smooth the middle out and I'm gonna smooth that one little out to close the gaps uh, also remembering a uh, seam allowance between uh, the pieces themselves um, I saw on the original skirt that it's also quite smooth up here so I started the ruffle stitch uh, like a bit in to keep this side like smooth uh, because obviously that's where the waist is so you don't need too much ruffle like up on the middle of your body um, the same thing goes over here I still started the stitch quite high up but I'm gonna smooth it down um, so it really like fits well with the um, with the middle section of the skirt i'm gonna close the gaps between them and then sew them onto the skirt um i also so i already sew i've already sewn this one and then i'm gonna press it and i decided to sew it in like a curved uh, shape at the ends because that's also what the original skirt had and it looks really good it's not like square and it's not pointy it's just like rounded and it looks really nice so this one needs to be pressed um, and this one I the long one I've also sewn but I still need to turn it uh, right sides out and I figured I would take the chance to show you just like I sewed it yeah just in a curve like this so I'm going to turn this one right sides out as well and then I'm going to press it and once I am done sewing these three pieces on the skirt we're going to attach the long band at the top and then we are nearing the end. <laughs> Where the yeah, 
flat fabric kind of uh, got tangled in the ruffles, but whatever, we solved it. Let's see how it looks. Oh, I'm really happy with that. This is how they look. It's actually a bit more ruffled than the other dress, but I kind of like it, so uh, that's also sometimes a nice surprise when you just go you know, go with the flow and copy something and try to do your best. So uh, I'm really happy with this. Let's uh, move on to the straps for the waist. I'm just gonna press it real quickly and then we're done um, for the waistband I was like debating a bit with myself on how I was gonna do it um, the skirt that I copied has like a button function I think you also saw in the beginning that it had like a short strap that went out like in the side of the belt um, I also actually had some idea to maybe use a buttonhole to make a hole in the waistband somewhere uh, where you could pull the strap through uh, but in the end I decided to just check with my waistband could I wrap it twice around my waist yes I could um, so I'm just gonna sew it on straight the way it is uh, I'm only sewing it to the flat skirt part so not to the ruffle part uh, and I just laid out the whole skirt flat put it on my finger so I could see like where was the middle and then uh, pinned it on like completely equally divided so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna sew it on and then uh, it's time to see the result Okay guys, the dress or the skirt is done and uh, I think this is the best thing I've made so far. I'm uh, super happy with it. Are you ready? Take a look at this. It turned out so nice. It has like a little bit more length than the other skirt and it's a bit more ruffled so I got to do the adjustments but it's like really well covering it like goes all the way up here which is also why it's good with the um, flat areas at the top of the ruffle but yeah she is quite nice you like it as much as I do because uh, yeah no this was so much fun uh, yeah that's it for uh, today guys thank you for uh, coming along on my uh, DIY DIY adventures if you have any questions as always just leave them in the comments I read every comment and I promise to uh, answer them if I can and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next DIY video Bye!